another very common form of hemorrhages in the brain can result from trauma, uh, a, a head injury. And that can be from motor vehicle accidents, falls, sporting activities. Um, and uh, the hemorrhages can be mild or they can be quite severe. Uh, a very mild hemorrhage can be one where you may not, it's so mild you may not even see it on a, on a CT scan, but the patient can present with a cut, a concussion, for example. So um, it's very common for uh, patients to be brought into the ER after a football injury or a car accident. They've been knocked unconscious. They therefore have a concussion, and they get a CAT scan, and sometimes we see a little bleeding, and if it's just a minor amount of hemorrhage, we tend not to worry about the hemorrhage that much, and we worry more about the traumatic brain injury that occurred as opposed to the hemorrhage. Other times, uh, the hemorrhage itself can be quite significant to the point where we actually have to surgically remove a hemorrhage that was caused by a trauma. Um, but most traumatic brain hemorrhages are non-surgical, and the issue is more the traumatic brain injury itself. For example, if, uh, if I took a hammer and I smacked your brain with the hammer, I can do the best surgery in the world to remove the hammer, but the brain has still been smacked. And my therapies, therefore, are going to be directed towards the traumatic brain injury itself as opposed to the hemorrhage.